So the document I have open here is Activity 611 and um, I have two um, pieces of artwork that represent um, tattoo design. So the top design is a kind of a tribal tattoo design and the bottom design is more of a kind of gothic kind of angel wing design. So I'm going to do the top one first and you can follow along with this document and then I want you to do the bottom one. So we've already learned in this um, learning unit about how to apply strokes. So just selecting one of these objects and going to my stroke panel and opening it up, you've got all of these options available to you to control strokes. Um, things like the width and whether you want it to be a dashed line or not and all the rest. None of those are really suitable for tattoo designs. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go back to... Uh, the original size. So we can, if we want to make this more um, appropriate as a tattoo design, we need to control the overall um, width of the strokes over distance and make variable stroke um, results. So I'm going to select the whole thing and do it all in one first and then we'll do it uh, in a more controlled way afterwards. So I'm going to select the whole thing and up here on the control panel I'm going to choose a profile called Width Profile 1. And then I'm going to increase my stroke weight. So you can see straight away this starts to look much more interesting because it's got a variable stroke that goes from thin to thick back to thin. And that's the profile that we're using. We could change that profile to this one that gives us a more kind of organic uh, feel a more hand painted feel. But what I'm going to rather do is undo those and instead of using a profile, let me actually just put this profile back to uniform. Okay, I'm going to use this tool here, which is the width tool, and that allows me to manually change the width of the stroke so I'm just going to click and drag to make this really thick okay same on this side okay here uh, well let's do this one first okay and maybe I want it to be quite thick there and there and this one a little bit less there and then smaller one here then I'm just going to zoom into this one here and I'm going to do there then I want to bring it in a bit here so I'm going to make it quite narrow and then thicker on this side okay so that's a much more pleasing result much more like a tattoo design and that's just with using um, variable uh, widths for a stroke. The if I if I press command or control Y, you can see the path is still just ordinary paths, but it's the stroke and the variable stroke that's giving it that character. So what I want you to do is to practice with the top one and then I want you to take this gothic wing tattoo design and make it much more interesting by adjusting the uh, paths with variable strokes using the width tool and using profiles. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.